So we are already back. Lucas just left, but I felt like the last episode was just a little bit overwhelming. And I need to take it a little bit more slow. Welcome to Teddy's New Vegas Permadef Experience. You are a courier. You're delivering a platinum chip by the guy that runs New Vegas called Mr. House. And then, that's a, that's a bird? Can I shoot it? No. The answer is no. Uh, I got confused. So, Mr. House, the guy that runs New Vegas, had you deliver a platinum chip. But Benny, a, a New Vegas top dog, had this whole idea of taking down a Mr. Vegas and taking the chip for himself. So he shot us in the head. As a result, we punched Benny to death. Um, and now there's this whole plan where we, I think, are able to take over New Vegas if we want. And suddenly we're like a big player in the game. Suddenly the game's like, hey, you're a huge, you're a huge deal now. Um, and every faction wants to meet with us and it's like Whoa slow down. I'm just a guy in the wastes Doing dumb things that likes to shoot big horners So I'm just gonna take it a bit more slow this episode We've still never met Caesar's Legion at this point. I'm pretty sure that everybody hates Caesar's Legion and thinks they're terrible But he wants to meet us and I feel like maybe we should just go and meet them and see what the deal is with Caesar's Legion, you know? You looking to buy some supplies? From you, Chet, always. What, what does that gun use? That gun, where is it? Oh yeah, we have a bunch of these. Chet, what you got? Nothing, nothing. Nothing really. Purified water, I'll take one of those. We always buy them nowadays because we're always we're just always thirsty, man. Doesn't really have a whole lot. We'll take the electronics. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. Uh, 0.357. Do we use anything with that? 0.56. 5.6, whatever, 5.5. No, we don't use that. Hmm. So I'm just, I just want to take it a bit more slow and, you know, I'm an old man. I'm getting older. I just want things to kind of go at a nice little slow pace. Hmm. He got nothing that we need. Oh, Wonder Glue. He's got Wonder Glue. We got so much Wonder Glue at this point. And the ammo, I want the 5.56, the regular ones, and I want the 308s, if he has, he doesn't have them, okay. Is there anything we want to sell? You can have Benny's suit, it's dumb. The radiation suit we're keeping, in case, you know, we need it. Anti-venom, bitter drink, buff out, we almost never use that, but we should start using it sometimes. Dixon's jet? Ridiculous. Get rid of it. Doctor's bag. Fixer. We don't really use that. Oh, but we can give that away, I think. For experience. Fixing things. Also, don't really use those. Sur never, never use these. Locksmith. I guess those could be useful. But not right now. Mentats. Honestly, just go. The fruit. I guess the fruit's fine. We we're hungry sometimes. Low light vision. Damage, damage threshold. That's good. AP plus 13 sleep. H2O personality. A weird one. This one might be good for when we get closer to 75. So yeah, I think for now this is all fine. Radex. That's fine. Sell a few. 
We're getting dangerously close to the 12k we need for a new implant, a slow health regen. And the companion that we have, Arcade Ganon, apparently makes all our health regen better. So that might really make us very, very strong. I'm excited for that, is what I'm saying. Hmm. Hmm. We have a stealth boy, we never use it. Sneak plus 100. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's fine for now, I guess. Thanks. Yeah, we are dangerously close to that. Come on. Okay. So Caesar wants to meet with us. Speak with something. Oh, and Nipton about missing radiation suits. I do want to talk. I don't want to do that as well. But. Render unto Caesar. Where is that? Oh my god. It's all the way over there. Nipton's on the way, no? Where's Nipton again? Is there even still someone in Nipton? That's what I don't get. Is Nipton being repopulated? What's happening to Nipton? Da 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 da. Oh. Interesting that they're there. Haven't we been here in this playthrough? So strange. Could have sworn we had. Yeah, break time sure is over. Get him! Got him. That's it. Alright. I like Arcade. I think he's a good addition. I really like the followers and I want to find out how we can talk to them and get their input on what to do with the wasteland. He's still here. What is it this time? Jeez. You know anything about some NCR supplies? I saw some Legion assholes carrying crates to a cave north of here. May have been NCR shit. I don't fucking know. This guy's really still going. I'm I'm sorry this is all happening to you. He's just sitting here with his broken legs, just Damn, that's a sad life. What are all these blips on the map? Birds? It is a bird. So many birds. Anyway. So they're in a cave. Let's go and do that. This guy wants rad suits. We're helping now. I think I think we're starting I'm starting to get closer and closer to internalizing that. Oh my god, there's always something. I'm starting to get closer and closer to realizing that we just want to do good for the wastes. We want things to work out. We want things to be nice for everyone. And so I'm deciding to be kind of more of a helpful fellow. You know, in the beginning we were a bit crazy. We were like the run and gun type of person. Ooh. This is very off road. Ooh, surrounded on all sides by enemies. We're getting strong is one thing we're getting. Oh, but that's a lot. Ah! Uh, what? It's not even us. What's happening here? It's Cazadors? Someone's here. It's a viper. Okay. Where's Eddie? Oh, okay. 
Good job. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. They had a grenade launcher. Star cap! We got a star cap. Uh huh. Good, good. Good, good. 9mm sub. Always worth a decent amount of money. We gotta go and sell some stuff pretty soon as well. Yep, yep. Poison gland. It's whatever. Grenade rifle. Uh huh. Metal spoon. Thanks. Thanks. Oh wow. Love all this. Oh, Eddie, there you are. I was getting worried about you. Hmm. Yeah, like the game is really putting this thing on us where, like, I guess we got so far in the quest line that the game is kind of like telling us to make our final bets, basically, and like, okay, which factions do you want to save? And I'm like, what? I didn't know when all these factions existed or we could make contact with them. Now I have to pick on whether or not I want to save them when I complete the game. Damn. You know, it's kind of a lot. How do you get there? How do you get there? And what is over there? It's over yonder. We have to get up there. What is here? an invisible wall again. I hate when that happens. I don't understand how to get there. <laughs> Literally, we just have to... What? But game, I have to... Okay. What the hell? Are we dying? But how do we get there? Are you okay? Damn, you've been through a lot. This does not seem like the place to go in at all. Walking box cavern. I don't understand how we end up there. Do we have to go through here or what? Oh, didn't mean to drink that. Also, I feel like we're getting a little bit reckless. Let's be real. This is a little bit reckless. I really don't want to die. I feel like we could have just died there. But also, I'm very curious. This looks cute. It's just Night Stalkers. That's fine so far. What a shame. Here we go. Oh. 
Is this really something we want? We have to ask ourselves this. Oh, I'm a little bit scared. Place doesn't seem so big. But is this the way? We need to... Oh my god, there's so many. What? Oh, we got stuck. really nothing here. Oh. I guess that's all. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Okay. Came out of nowhere. Good. Reinforced. Wow. And a combat helmet. Nice. That goes to you. I like my crits. Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Uh ha ha. You will be treated like a pack Brahmin. Sorry. Oh my god, you look even dumber. Oh, I can't maintain it? Why? Why can I do that, but not the other way around? That's confusing. Sure, just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Yeah, no, I'm treating you like a pack Brahmin. Okay, let's get out of here, sell our stuff. But like, I don't understand though where the quest was supposed to take us. That was a fun little detour, but like... Quest-wise, I don't get it. Is there no way in? It's really, it really has this like... Thing around it. No way to access. Here? Like this seems reasonable, right? This seems like, oh yeah, you can get up there. But no. The top of this mountain is very closely guarded. Hmm. I feel like our character is only good at a very specific type of combat. Big distance. Slow DPS, you know, that kind of thing. Again, these like Viper people are shooting at some random stuff here. Is this the way in? Dead Wind Cavern. Also doesn't seem like it. I'm intrigued, but like... How do we get where we have to be? We're just gonna go like over there. And then try to get up there, but like... Check out this cavern for a second, I guess. Ah. <sighs> Caution immediately. What does that sound like? Is it a ghoul? Here we go. 
Oh my god. Looks like time's over. That was the dumbest thing ever. Eddie, get away from the door. Literally a cave full of death claws. Can we do it though? This doesn't heal us very fast. How much does one sunset sarsaparilla give you? Sarsaparilla. Let's just pop a stim pack. Honestly, seemed all right. I got too reckless. I got too reckless. Okay. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. What what kind of Death Claw monster? Death Claw monster. Death Claw So dumb. Oh my god. Oh my god. We really did that. I. 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 Lucas, I'm never listening to you again. Ah! It's not your fault. It's my fault. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, are you gonna. Oh my. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Ah, <laughs> man, that really happened to us. Guys, this is just the way it goes. Here we go. All right, not giving up. But I do think we're getting closer to um, what we understand now about the game. Brings us a lot closer to making the choices that we want to make oh god we're doing it i'm kind of excited is this an opportunity to do things differently is this a opportunity to go for energy weapons for a change that might be fun i do think the energy weapons all seem very cool and the van graphs are alive Maybe energy weapons are now the way to go. Hmm. Oh my god. I cannot believe that happened. It threw us over in one hit and then killed us in the second. I cannot believe that happened. But hey, that's what these games that, that's what these caves exist for, I guess. These non-quest caves. Why don't you just relax a second? I'm not relaxed, Doug Mitchell. I'm not relaxed. Can you tell me your name? Yes, I can tell you my name. My name is Dummy. Dummy. I like the IE because it makes us even more dumb. Oh. You can't say it's what I'd have picked for. Oh. That's your name. That's your name. Oh. Welcome to Why do I keep now, getting? I, you don't mind. I keep I getting too damn. Ah, oh, overzealous. I take pride in my needlework. But you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. It's speed run o'clock, y'all. It is speed okay. run o'clock. Next, female character for a change. That could be cool. That could be cool. Just give us one of the presets, don't matter. Preset one. 
preset I guess let's see about the let's see about the hair The rough night. Wendy the welder. Why are they all so? They're either too much, or they're that the one that every single NPC seems to have. Oh, this is where Julie Farkas one. Oh, wow, that one's crazy. Why are they all shaved at the top though? I kind of like this one. Normal. Yeah. Cool. Well, I got most of it right oh my god. Oh guys, this really happened this way. This really happened this way. I have to internalize that for a second. We were level 15. 16 something. We had 13 hours of playtime. 13! Almost 14. Cool. Well, what do we do again? We rob Doc Mitchell of his stuff. That's always step one of the plan every time. Uh-huh. We take all that. Take all that. It's whatever. It's whatever. Oh, I will. I will give the... Oh my god, our sunset sarsaparilla stars. Ah. Oh. Guys, mark my words. We will not die again. Mark my words. We will not die again. We will not. We will not. I refuse to die again. Okay. This is how, this is all gonna go very differently this time around. Very differently. Damn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It really happened. It really happened. Hi. <sighs> okay. Um Okay. What do we do? What kind of um build? Let's see. I think Hmm. I still believe strength one isn't a bad, bad idea. You just lose a bit of accuracy with your guns. I still believe intelligence at, all the way at the top is really good. Charisma is like, okay. I think charisma is, is over, over promised. I think perception and endurance need to be up there. Something like this, I think seems good. Maybe eight luck even for, we're still doing the crit build. Ah. Yeah, we're still doing the crit build. We know where some key items are now. So we can get some items relatively easy. We're gonna go for an energy weapons build and we're gonna level up science a bit more than we usually do. Um, I think this seems just fine to me. Energy weapons, let's try that out. It's a new thing. Yes, yes. Let's go over over here. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Boone is alive. Boone will be our homie. Yes, yes. My dogs. See if my dogs are barking. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Go. 
Remember, take it slow, enjoy the game. Um, we're gonna do energy weapons for one. Science would be kind of nice to have, but energy weapons is the main one right now. We're gonna do speech. It starts low. That's okay that it starts low. Repair? We want to get repair up to 50 to get those repair thingies, but it's not a big thing. We're gonna sneak a little bit more this time around, I think. Sneaks, it seems, it seems like we've been underappreciating sneak a little bit. But science 41 first, maybe, because then we can get up to 50 quite quick and just leave it there for a while. Oh god. Oh, this really happened this way. It's really setting in. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can Yield to the traits. Medical history. Just a formality. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Uh-huh. We're going to get good natured, which is minus 5 to energy weapons and all that stuff, but like you get so much for it in return. It's crazy. And we're gonna get built to destroy three plus three extra percent to critically hit is the equivalent to three luck. Just too good to leave. Trigger discipline, it's fine, but like more accurate, I guess. Small frame dumb. This dumb. 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 And dumb. So yeah. Alright, let's go. Put us back into the wasteland. Let's go. Da -da 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 -da. Footlock are always empty. Always spawns empty. Every single time. I'm ready. Oh, we are. I'm so ready. I'm going to skip so much dialogue this time around. We already seen this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for patching me up. You should talk... I really appreciate that. Yeah, yes, we want hardcore mode, yes. I expect you'll be wanting to go. Of course. You've been through. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's repair that. Let's use this for some stimmies. And we are on our way into the wasteland once more. Oh. Let's uh, get out there. This is how we look. We are back again. Oh God. It's really happening that way. Victor, tell us about who shot hey, us. Partner? Hey, thank you, thank you. Thank you for digging me out. Uh, okay. So do we know where to go yet? Yeah, we have to go to Prim. The Mojave Express in Prim. Even though we're not going to use it, we're still going to get that shotgun, I think, just to sell it. This save file is gonna, ooh, this, this playthrough, ooh. Uh, mark my words, things will be different. This playthrough, mark my words. <sighs> the anger has been awakened. We are no longer messing around ever, ever, ever again. We want good for the wasteland though. We want to do good things. Okay, we especially want to get that sensor module. We want to get Eddie up and running as fast as possible and just start steamrolling enemies. Um, for experience. Just literally start steamrolling enemies left and right. Um, I know Chet has a, a metal box that usually has sensor modules in them. So I think Chet's a good place to start. Most of these regular houses don't have like a toolbox. Toolbox is what I mean, not the metal box, the toolbox. 
but we're still gonna start with some of these what's that nine millimeter round take it ramen stick take it oh it's speed run time it is speed run time not messing around no more ever oh we can't do that okay pre-war money love it all right what's ew oh yes sad still take it right now we're just in the level of wanting to get money uh, we can't get overzealous we can still do new quests um as far as side quests i don't really like to do side quests we've already done in newer playthroughs can we get hidden there we go oh sunset sarsaparilla there it is these are free somehow it's always weird how that works Okay, we got a lot of sunset sets really we're starting off good we are starting off good and you know what we've actually never done we've never been a good samaritan around good good nape good springs we've never actually hung out and so what if we did that for a change what if we got in our relaxed wear and we're like living the small town life for a little while i can see it Oh, but I want a place to, to drop our stuff, though. Hmm. Anyway, let's let's see. We've never actually kind of explored it. We're still sort of speed running, but I also kind of want to see what's going on. Chet, let's talk to you. Is there any way to be hidden in this? Cool. He's got some scrap electronics here too. He's got a pistol. Howdy. Hey, Chad. What's you up? Must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. Ah. Uh, I, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale even got some weapon mods and special ammo if you're hurting for caps i've also got boxes of surplus very cool energy round what what is what is energy guns even about e-cell got e-cells energy cells three per piece per piece What did I sign up for? Ah. 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 Okay, we're keeping the knife on us in case we run out of energy cells. Apparently, that's a big thing now. Um. Hmm. I don't even need that. This we can sell. Dirty water, gecko steak. Sell that for now. Rad X, Sunset Sesperilla. Why is it tails like this? Weird. Uh -huh. Oh, this, this playthrough is not gonna go the same way. I promise you that. Trained energy cell, maybe, maybe we start, need to start Paying attention to this for a change. Uh, drain small energy cell. Oh, empty bottles? You can have those. Empty syringe, hammer, medical brace? No. Ophthalmoscope? Give me a shout if you need anything else. Thank you. So, how do you make ammo?
What if, say, we wanted to make energy cells? Oh, it's not a thing? It's not a thing. Whoa, do you just have to be rich to do energy weapons? Is that it? Might have made a mistake here. All right, Sunny Smiles. Hey, Easy Howdy. Pete. What can Easy Pete do for you? Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided I think we had this to conversation. Here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out. That's very cool. You're a prospector, like digging for gold and silver. Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Oh. What do you use big horners for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. We know about that. You ever find anything good? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Oh. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Cool. <laughs> Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Hey. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me how to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Bet. If you're looking for supplies, Chad over at the general store can help you out. What are we doing? Mm-hmm. Uh mm-hmm. -huh. Uh -huh. Taking in the ambiance, living the life. Yeah. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Wait, on the fence? Sarsaparilla bottles on the fence? What fence? Oh, whoa. Okay. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Oh, I think I got called. <laughs> Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Ooh. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. No. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? I'm down. Follow me. It's the tutorial. Ah. Huh. Ah. Oh my god, y'all. I'm still grieving. But Boone is alive and I love Boone. So that's good. I do like gu regular guns though, so I'm, I'm thinking both might be a thing. We can go for energy weapons first, but I feel like guns is the way to go first. Because energy weapons seems like, seem like they require money. I was an idiot for going in there. I saw a death claw, fought it, went in for more. Damn. I was, I was, I thought I was the strongest. I thought I was on top of the wasteland. We were reaching the end game. But I don't know if I like the end game like that. Suddenly it was too much information. It made me scared. I like being a beginner. Ba -da 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 -da. 
Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. Where's these gex? Get away, okay. gex. Go give him hell. Where are they? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh! Uh. Uh. Sonny! You're just leaving me here, Sonny. You're leaving me to die to these geckos. Cool. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Come with me. Mm -hmm. Or she gives us some ammo for it. Good, good. Life is pretty good. Yeah, I think guns, starting off with guns is a bit better. But yeah, then we don't have a lot for other things, you know? But it seemed like things were leveling up just fast enough, really. Oh, that's it. <gasps> they killed the dog! They killed the dog! Sunny. Cheyenne died. Where are you going? You're not gonna mourn your dead dog? Your dog is dead. Your dog. Everything all right? Well, let's just finish. Your dog is dead. What could be, oh! What is this? Oh my god. I love this outfit, but... Oh my... I cannot believe it. I love it! Oh my god, so cool! Confound it, Cheyenne. Why'd you have to go running in like that? You were supposed to stay. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to see me like this. I'm not gonna be very good company right now. I did have another thing to teach. But I'll understand if you'd rather I just pay you so you could be on your way. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Okay. She needs her well, space right now. Good luck to you. I'm heading... Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is cursed. Cheyenne died. I'm sad. Hmm. Everything, everything just seems to be going so cursed. I should have never picked it back up. From now on, no more unnecessary risks. You know? No more risks like that. Let's drink some water. Isn't there supposed to be a shovel here? I remember there being a shovel near one of these. It's fine if there isn't. Okay, well, I know where to get like really good things in the game. 
They're going to be a bit further ahead. I want to see what Good Springs is about first. Because we've never given Good Springs the opportunity. Is there, is this where the shovel is? There is a shovel somewhere. Nope. I feel so bad for Sunny Smiles. That's actually so sad. Oh no. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Ringo? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? What do you want? What's with Ringo? He's some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. No. Is there as your territory? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Uh -huh. None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. Just need to know if I should watch my step around you. Rob some people, burn some things, killed a few guys. Sheesh. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Hey, I've heard an argument. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Yeah. Chain gangs, really. The NC problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Yep. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Hmm. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Wanna just kill Cobb? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. So if I help Ringo and Good Springs would like me more, what if I help the Power Gang? Huh. Anything else going on? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. The NCR and the Legion both want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it I want to meet the something. Legion. We were just about to go meet... Kaisar too. Damn. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor mm. is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Hmm. Okay. Can I go and help them with this? 
Offer Ringo help to deal with the powder gangers. Okay. I'll help. I don't... I'm not very strong yet, though. Did we level up yet? Not yet, huh? No. 30. 30 more. Oh. Hey. You looking to buy some supplies? Yes. Um... Heartaches by the number. Mm. Can I have all my damn gecko meat? All my damn gecko hide, too. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. I really. Hmm. Is that a shovel? No, thought I saw a shovel. Oh, it is a shovel. Ah, when Chad is asleep, we could steal a bunch of stuff that is actually very useful. Um, let's go see what Ringo is up to then. Hmm, this is fun. I've never, we've never done this before. And that's kind of what I'm hoping is that if we die, we just do the game a different way, a little bit. I don't know about this energy guns mess. Doesn't seem to be going very well right now because it's expensive. That's close enough. Who are you and what do you want with me? If you're going to shoot, you better not miss. No, I'm not an enemy. If you're going to shoot, you better not miss. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan. You know how to play? I've never played Caravan. What are the rules of Caravan? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pot. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. Okay. It's why you won't see Caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Yeah. Let's play. Oh, let's get the note first. How to play. 30 cards from one or more traditional playing card sets. The deck can have many number of cards of any type that suits the player's strategy, although it cannot have duplicate cards from the same set. Okay. For example, a king of spades from a set from set A and a king of spades from set B deck is acceptable. Caravan is built played with two players building three opposing piles or caravans of a number card. It goes to outbid your opponent caravan with the highest value of numbered cards without being too light or overburdened. So they have to all have to be around 26. Eight cards from their deck and placing either one numerical card. There, sorry, there are three caravans. Each player may do one of the following per turn. Play a card and draw a new card. Discard one card from their hand and draw a new card. Disband one of their three caravans. Direction, either ascending or descending numerically. Jesus. And a suit. Okay. Subsequent cards must be continued. Oh my god. Joker. And played against Ace, 2 to 10. Okay. Change based on what it's Ace, 8, number card. See below. Ace, value of 1. Joker's place an Ace may remove all other non face cards from the Ace's suit and from the table. Jays, uh. Okay, let's try, I guess. Ooh, sunset. Ooh, sunset. Lockpick. What is it? Yeah, let's play caravan. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, how many caps? Damn, let's start with like one, dude. Let's start with one cap, literally. What? Add? I don't know. Uh... What? Okay. And then what? Then what? So aces are not good unless you have jokers. Are those jokers? No. How many deck? How many? You need 30, right? 47? No, how many cards can you have? I really feel like they could have done this better. But I guess it probably saves your deck. So once you make one good deck... I wish I uh, didn't have to do this this way, but so decks have to be ascending or descending. Higher value cards, I'll have to check what they do exactly. And aces are just ones. So it seems like if everything is tied to a suit, it's better to not have all the suits, but just a few suits. So that's what I'm going to do right now, I think. I'm just going to go full black, because I like this little tops thing. So... Let's see how far we get with just that. This seems like the way... Because if you can't combine suits, then there's no use, right? But I might be completely wrong, of course. When does the game end? That I didn't quite get that part. Ah. <laughs> they look funny. Okay, we need three more cards, but then there's these cards don't go on anything. So we'll have to have a couple of throwaway cards. Which can just be like some twos. It's gonna be just these two aces. Or th Let's play. Discard well. Boneyard Dayglow. What's that? Shady Sands, the hot the hub. Ugh. No. Oh, okay. We start from the top down, or from the bottom. Yeah, okay. And J, I can't select this one. Why not? It's all numbers? Oh, okay. Let's start with a three. Let's 
starts with an ace. Oh, ace is the lowest, of course. Obviously. Fuck that up. Three. When does the game end? No, no, put it on the three. Put it on the three. Why? Why can't I... I guess we first have to... Uh, I guess we first have to work on one stack, so... Another ace then? Like, first we have to... Okay. And so now we want the three, or the four, whatever. Yeah, right? Why? Why is this not a good idea? Why can't we do this? I don't think I understand Caravan. That works. Why does that work? I don't think the suit thing really made sense. I think maybe the suit thing wasn't a thing. And maybe the suit, maybe the whole thing was suits don't matter. What did that do? Did that, that, that just end it? I'll forfeit the money, yeah, I just... I just, I want to, uh, I want to figure this out better. It's clearly that didn't go well. Oh. Okay. Let's do this. I'm ready. Wait. Wait, oh, what's happening? I pressed uh, console by accident. At least 30 cards. The deck may have any number of cards, any type that suits player strategy. Look, can I have had duplicate, duplicate cards from the same set? Yes, that's fine. Rules. Caravan is played with two players building three opposing piles. The goal is to outbid your opponent's caravan with the highest value. So you just get, you build up to the higher value. The game begins with each player taking eight cards from their deck and placing either one on numerical card or ace. Either one numerical card or ace on each caravan. I'm gonna have to take fucking notes. Jeez. Mm hmm. Eight cards. Place. Numerical or ace first. Players may not discard. Each player may do one of the following. Play one card and draw a new card. And then play one plus draw one discard a card and draw one plus draw one discard one and draw one guess if you have no options that's what you do disband one of their carva caravans disband a caravan Caravans have a direction, either ascending or descending numerically. So is the ace high or low? That's what I don't get. And a suit. Is ace high or low? Suits determined by the first card placed on the caravan. The direction by the second Oh! The suit of the caravan is determined by the first card, the direction by the second. 
All subsequent cards must continue the numerical direction. Right. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Match the numerical direction or match the suit. The next cards have to match the numerical direction or match the suit. So I still think it's good to go for one type of suit, no? Or match the suit of the previous card. Cards of the same numerical value cannot be played in sequence regardless of suit. Face cards can be attached to numeric cards in any caravan and affects them in new fair where okay. So I still think it's good to go for the least amount of suits. There seems to be no downside. Okay. Joker. Played against an ace. Two to ten. It's weird, so it's a randomizing effect. Effects change based on whether it's an ace or a numbered card. Okay. Multiple jokers may be played in the same card. Ace. Value of one. Ace. One value. Jokers played on aces remove all other non-face cards of the ace's suit from the table. Why is that a good thing? Playing a joker removes all non-face cards. Why is that a good thing? Oh. Uh, of the aces suit. And that card. From the table. A a joker played an ace spade removes all spades except a fit wait jokers played on aces remove all other non-face cards of the aces suit from the table a joker played on an ace of spades removes all spades except face cards from the table so then if we only play, let's say, one suit, but we have aces in all suits, that could be used to bother the enemy. That seems like a move. Joker's playing these cards, remove all other cards from their value of the table. Yeah. A joker played in a four of hearts, removes all fours. From the table. Okay. On a number... Number card joker moves all of that number. Except the one you play it on. Jack. Play it against ace. Or, or number card. Oh, it's a number card, right? Um, Jack played against Ace. Num removes that card along. with any face cards attached. This is so convoluted. <sighs> Queen. Played against ace or num. Reverse the direction of the hand 
Change the current suit. Okay. Reverses direction and changes suit. Jeez. Suit. Played against the ace. King played against ace numb. Adds value of that card again. Oh, okay. Adds value of that card. Card again. Multiple kings can be played from the same card. Four plus king is eight. Four plus two kings is sixteen. Oh, uh, okay. And be added multiple times for doubling even more. Winning. Player's caravan is considered sold when the value of its cards is over twenty and under twenty-seven. The other player may still outbid by increasing the value of their posting pile while staying within the range. So when each of the three competing caravans has sold, the game is over. In the event that one of the three caravan values are tied between players, the game continues until all three caravans have sold. The player with two or more sales wins the pot. When three caravans has been have been sold, the game ends. Sells automatically when you reach uh, between twenty one and twenty six. Okay, I think I understand it now. But jeez. Jeez. Let's play a hand. Sure. Yeah, I'm still not doing a lot. I'm still doing one. This is just for practice, okay? Did it take out my cards? No, it, it kept them in. I still think this is a good setup, the way we have it. Wait, it changed it, didn't it? This two was never in there. Oh, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think this is a decent setup still. Yeah, sure. I'll need to think more deeply about what the best ideas are. We already have an ace and a joker combo, so we can pull that out whenever we need. Um, but we'll start with a two and ascend, I guess. He's starting with a 10, he's going down. Yeah, 10 descend, not a bad idea. 10 king would be very smart. Oh, but then 10 king. Oh, there's nothing after that. Oh, fudge. 7 king might be a good idea then. And then we can descend. 6 4. 7 14 plus 6 20 plus 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. That will work. Yeah, I see those I see those king moves. 26. Damn, he's getting that. What? We can't descend? Why? And why can't we ascend here? Oh, huh? What does this mean? Oh, oh, I'm starting to get it. Okay. Okay. 20. Uh, 
What does a Joker do again? Uh, sorry, Jack played against and uh, removes that card along with any face cards. No, not what we want. We want. There we go. 24. He's definitely winning. This is a big problem. I want to remove this too right now. There we go. And I want to do this A stuff. And then this should remove some of his, right? Yes! Uh, he's still at 18 with that one. Nothing we can do about that now. No, that would just make it... That wouldn't help. Oh, we can improve this by a little. Oh, we can make it 26. Uh, uh. We can make it 26 with this. Dangerously close, isn't he? He's gonna win. Simple as that. What's Joker on a number? Oh, what's Joker on a number? What does that do? What does it do? I don't know what it does. Wait, what did that do? I don't understand what is happening. Oh. Where did his caravan go? Was it sold? Let's just build this out. See how we can get. Oh, this is a 26? Wait. No, 16. So it's still four. Yeah, we can do that. Three, what does the queen do again? Queen reverses direction and changes suit. Don't really need that. Twenty-three. How can I remove all that stuff on the left? Oh, and this can make it. There we go, add one. But now the game should end, no? Or is the game not ended until one person sells all caravans? Because in that case, we need... Uh, we need to descend from here, I guess. Or no, because that would be ascending. And then we would have to... Oh, can we use the queen, though? Then the direction is reversed. And then we can go back down, right? Let's see what our other options are. Yeah. Reverse direction. He's over with one. He's over with two. 
So all we have to do is get up to caravan level, which is just this one five. Hey! I don't understand what happened to his hand at some point, but great. We won a game of caravan. That was uh, a lot. Let's see. What does the Joker do on a on a number card? Joker, 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 Joker. Yeah, but like Ace Joker's well non face card, yes. Joker's played on these cards remove all other cards of this value from the table. Oh Ah Huh Not fully into it yet But yeah Alright Let's talk about this problem you're having. What is it? Well, there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I don't like these powder gangers. Why are they out to get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not mm. even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took mm. a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Hmm, okay. What are you going to do about him? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. If you need a hired gun, I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. That'll have to do. What now? We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board. Last crown so you can round up. You don't think I can handle myself in a fight. Start with sunny smiles. Are we gonna be fighting powder gangers like this early on in the game? I'm ready. Would like to level up one time at least. Ah, oh, Sunny and her dog. Poor dog. Oh, uh. didn't mean to. Hey, Easy Pete. Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Oh. Bone tell Bringo take on the Powder Gangers. Might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Just like that? Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra... This is becoming a whole thing! Wow. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Uh. 
Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before... Hmm... So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. You could help make take, help me take down the party gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Nice. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Wow. This is... Oh, that was jarring for a second. We need to know explosives, they said. So how about 20? And let's just speech... Let's just... Do this for now, uh, but I feel like uh, this is tough. Maybe it should be regular guns first. But we're this deep in, we're this deep in. Science might as well go to 50 if we're here. Speech up a bit. Energy weapons to 29, sure. Swift learner, temper, extra experience points, no. Retention, no. Immense training. Black Widow, yeah, 10 damage against male opponents. That's definitely a good one. Huh, what's all out here? Ooh. Interesting. Might return. But no, we like good springs. We're trying to do good. Howdy. If you got dynamite, it would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Going to kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. 25? 25? And then, of course, Chet wants barter, and we don't have that. You looking to buy some supplies? What do you know about the situation with the powder gangers? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Oh, don't Chet. mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed. But we don't go looking for trouble. I need supplies. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Ah! Oh man. And he had leather armors. Oh, I should have just leveled barter. She literally told me exactly what we needed and I, I did none of, I didn't do it the right way. Cause Chet has those leather armors. So 25, 25. And um, what does Doc Mitchell want? We could just get an extra level real quick. Somehow. Welcome back. Sounds like going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks yeah. just never leave each other alone. I know. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. I'll be using explosives. Do you have something for more serious injuries? I ain't got much, but it'll... Nice. That helped. We need that leather armor. Uh, specifically, I need that little leather armor. So, how can we get another quick level before we do this? I suppose the easiest way would be going to down to Prim. Uh, 
And, uh... And finish up the quest. That'll be the easiest. Walk down there real quick. <gasps> this is the guy! I hate this guy! And they're supposed to be... Mm. I know I'm, I'm, I'm spending too much time trying to get this shovel. Oh, this is the good spring settler that died. Oh, I'm ready for this. Where is he? Hmm, maybe we don't need it. Um... We could still switch our tagged skills, but no. Oh, there go some party gangers right now. Yeesh. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be super unfriendly to party gangers. I know that much. Little geck going around. This energy cell thing seems rough though, huh? They cost three each. We have to get a really good barter going on. Hmm. Let's see. Um, what's that? We have the shotgun still. Ah! Oh. That really does almost nothing. And all that for five experience. Yeah, okay. No, we're locked in on energy weapons, all right. I'm sure we can make it, we can float it economically. Hmm. And we already have 50 science, which is kind of crazy. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. What's going on? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken... He's in a tent down the road. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, we can fast travel. That's crazy. Caution? Caution? From what? How? Stop this. Okay, well. We just won't loot those then. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Remember when we had that fun together? Tour. All I can think about now is going back home. There we go. There's two convicts over there. We're gonna check out the Mojave Express. We still haven't found our sensor module. Which sucks. We need two scrap electronics. Um, two scrap electronics. We need three scrap electronics, I mean. We need, um, wow, can't figure out my words right now. Ah. Three, like, uh, three scrap metal. It's, I believe, two scrap electronics and two sensor modules. 
or one scrap electronics. Some around that, some like that. Mm -mm -mm. Do are there energy snipers? Because I am very attached to sniping. I'm very attached to sniping. So that I think I think I saw energy rifle scope. Yes, yes. Oh, sensor modules? No. Six. Can they even be in there? Reloading bench. Uh, camera. Take that for now. Take the rounds. Take the ammo. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. Sheriff's Duster. Oh, that's cool. What's all this then? Oh, let's not get stuck. Let's not get stuck on terrain here. Let's not get stuck on the terrain here. Okay. <laughs> I thought for a second we were stuck. We can do this. They're not a big deal. They got dynamites though, so we gotta watch out. Jeez. Feels so weird. What are you aiming at? Interesting. Uh-huh. Oh! Didn't mean to do the take all. Didn't mean to do that one either, but okay. Okay, so for the quest, we go in there. And then I think this quest is already done. Don't know for sure. Let's just do this first. Scrap metal. Oh, science? How much science? We have 50. Science 55! Okay. That's great. What's our science? 50, right? Quests. Ah. Sorry. Wah. There we go. Science 50, yeah. 55, okay. Oh, and we can, if we level science, we can finally do the quest for Slim Prim. The Vicky and Vance quest. Life is good. Um, yeah, we want some of these things, but not that much. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to return here after I go to this town. I'm excited for the Vicky and Vance quest as well. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, well, there's Johnson. I don't know what it was, bro. Yep. Johnson. There we go. Ah, oh, come here, come here, come here, I wanna sell things. Come here, I wanna sell things. Yay. Hey, youngster. Um, anything for sale? Four spades. Sure. 
Ten of hearts, lucky 38, sure, we'll get them all. Energy cell, they're so expensive, man. But I guess they're, that means they're strong. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's all the stuff we want. Now we want to sell a bunch of stuff to you. Particularly, pretty much everything. We're gonna stick with uh, the sheriffs. We're gonna do the cowboy hat because it's the only thing that has damage deterioration. Uh, yep. Nope. There we go. Have the steak. On a bits. Hmm. Ah, this is fine for now. Dirty water. No, we later in the game we really need those. Oh, we have a bunch of these. Give me a shout if you need anything else. So what needs to happen? Is this quest not complete? Oh, we need to get their blah man out. Hmm. Not as easy as I'd hoped. Hey, youngster. Okay. Well, we can't do everything today. Um. Yeesh. We don't have any places to put our stuff yet. I'm actually gonna just drink up a bunch of these Sunset Sarsaparillas. And hope you get a star bottle cap. That one didn't show. Do we have one? Yes, we have one. That means, if my calculations are correct, and we now wait for 24 hours, this guy will show up. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a... Go on. Yep, thanks for the info. And then... We may die again to this. I'm not gonna lie. But... What do you think you're doing? There we go. And that at least gives us a start on our brand new Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Adventure. This has been Teddy's playthrough of New Vegas. It is a new start once again. I'll see you guys later. You see this 13 hour playthrough? Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and save over that. That doesn't exist anymore because this is a permadeath run and we shall be keeping going. I'm quite excited for this energy weapons playthrough. I'm excited for how we're going to do things differently. I'm excited for Boone being alive. I'm excited to learn if Caravan is actually any fun. Thank you for joining and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!